Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas! An old World Blues! Blah, 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 blah. You thought I was kidding when I said I wouldn't get when I would get sillier. Shows what you know. So actually can't go that way. Yeah, so I have to wrap around. Third guy or AI. Well they're not they, wait, no, the sink said the sync terminal said they're not AI technically because they don't learn or they're not. He explained why they aren't AI. They're just all robotic intelligence or robotic personalities. Oh, hey, this is the forbidden zone, isn't it? Can I get you a map marker? Mentats. This is like, if you need Mentats, this is the DLC for you. If I ever stop walking and don't say anything, it's because I'm so frustrated with the poppins that I'm not even gonna throw a hissy fit about it. It's just annoying. Magneto Hydraulics Complex. Okay, this is where I'm Magneto hydraulics. So, magnet push systems, I guess, is what you would say that is. Hmm. Oh, there's lots of things floating now. That's a thing you have to do sometimes with this, with the Fallout games, at least the three in New Vegas and those. Oh my god. Ah, no! Is that things that are supposed to be floating because of the way the game is built actually... Look at, oh, oh, it's clean water. Things that are supposed to be floating... Hey, put that away. Sometimes aren't and that's simply because the way they have to assemble the uh, environment. Like they basically are floating under the water just a bit and then once you make contact and go under the water then they correctly will float ooh I'm throwing axe hey I just realized I'm not getting any reds from here so this place is safe from uh, the nukes well, I guess they explained that the mountain used to be an actual mountain and not a crater, and that the scientists themselves actually blew it up. Hmm, what's in there? So, before it was a crater, it was a mountain. Hell, like, didn't... How did... Wait, who said it? Boros described it? That they lost the mountain? value in here desk oh there's a lot of cells on the floor there let's come back and sweep those up let me see you little cell hey stop it knock it off are these actual no they're all drained why are they here though anything else no Hey. I like the name of the quest to get all the companions for the, uh, or not companions, but the sync intelligences. All my friends have off switches. It sounds like a song. Like the name of a song. It's like, it sounds like the name of a song you'd hear in like an indie game like I would see that in this kind of game like Undertale like that's you'd never know the name of the song but then if you look up the official soundtrack it's called uh, uh, all my friends have off switches it's like how oh hey, hey I found the sink for the sink
I get experience for every step I do for light switches and jukebox. Alright, so I still have to find one of the light switches. But, like, it's how... Hmm. I was gonna say something, but it's probably spoilers. I shouldn't. Damn it! I want to say things. Okay, I can I can say it without spoiling. There's a character you can fight if you take the murdery path of Undertale, where you kill everything. And his song is called Megalovania, and you'd never know that unless you actually looked up the song, which is it's an awesome song. I would tell you to look it up, but if you haven't played Undertale and plan to look it up, you will definitely find spoilers. It's alright. You'll have to, uh, you'll either have to risk spoiling it for yourself, or, uh, just play through the game. Although, really, if you're gonna play a pacifist like I am, you'd never even, uh, you'd never even encounter that fight, and you'd never even know about it. Undertale's so good. I really need to go back and play through Earthbound now. Still can't figure out why I've never been able to. Let me go back to the updating zone. Oh! Cool. The place I'm going next is actually... Apparently Earthbound also has a quote-unquote bitchin' soundtrack. Dr. Dr. Mobius, surrender yourself. You cannot win despite the fact that the odds are heavily in your favor. I guess those broadcasts that the think tank do, it kind of makes up for the fact that there's no, like, companions to have their own little banter when you're exploring. Hey, the North Tunnel. Another... Train yard wreck. Can I? How do I? Oh, I can just go through the big. How would I lift this entire gate to get in here? Hello. Overclocked turret. Hey, I found the other light switch. So I already finished that part of that quest. Oh, there's just a human skull. Toaster, Muggy, and Book Shoot. Alright, so the last... Actually, that's the last guy I need to find is Muggy. What's in here? Anyways. Oops. The reason I used the, uh... Come on, brain. Stop being stupid. The optimized ammo energy cells, because there's like four different kinds, or five different kinds. Technically, the strongest is the overcharged ammo, but there's two reasons I use the optimized instead. The optimized does 1.3 times your normal damage, so 30% more damage in with your weapon. The overcharge does 50% more, but the overcharge uses does way more condition damage to your weapon when you use it. Like, way more. The optimized, I think, only does 10% condition per, per shot. I think the overcharge might do 30 or even 50% condition per shot, which is a lot. And the other reason... Because there's not much of a big difference between 30 and 50% damage. But the optimized have the highest chance that when you fire, you'll get a, um... I just stopped saying, um. You'll get... Didn't want the cave falling, but I'll take it. You'll get a drain uh, cell for the ammo. I think it's like 35%. So, you're basically going to get more free ammo if you recycle since I have Vigilant Recycler and all that jazz and blah 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 it's better to use the... Hello? It's better to use the, um... Oh, shit, I said... Okay. I gotta stop. The Optimized.
here. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Cave. Hey, come on, game. Don't lag. Okay, I'm going to be sneaky. I'm also going to save. Because from what I remember, the enemy in this cave can totally kill you in one or two shots. Where is it? Oh wait, there's more than one. There's only one specific enemy I'm talking about, but there's, I guess, some common enemies. Let the bad one hear me. Is that it? Was that it? I think that was it over there. Maybe it wasn't. Shut That's a regular one. That's not what I'm looking for. I believe it lives in this big open chamber. It's not it either. Hold still for me. this other one? Was this not the right part of the cave? Fuck, I hate this. I remember having trouble with this thing. This enemy is as strong as the other most dangerous enemy in the game, and that's the legendary Deathclaw. Or was it Rar? It's either Rar or the legendary Deathclaw. One of them is the most dangerous. Rar, you can use the flare gun. You might actually be able to use the flare gun on the legendary Deathclaw. And you'll just, like, permanently keep him locked in a stun where he's afraid of you. This thing, you can't... I guess you could probably stun it if you use, like... A knock... A knockdown effect gun. Like, maybe I can stun him with... Maybe I can stun him with the Gauss Rifle, actually. Oh, I see. There's a lot of mutant fungus in here. Oh, this is the cave. Or the cavern part. So he's somewhere in here. That's him. I can't hit him if he's behind that door. Okay, let's see. That was a complete miss. Stay away from me. Let's see if I can. No. Nope. Shit, he's hard to hit. I might have to use. I might use the gap laser. For... Fuck you! Hold still. And. Are my shots just going through it? Stay away from the comeback. Okay, I got a critical strike. I think that's another one. No, not you. Really? You can't target... Oh, wow, he's almost dead. Oh, so I am hitting him. I was hitting him. Hitting him. Awesome.
I always remember to use those implants. I keep forgetting to. But there's not really been a need or warrant to use them. So this is going to be interesting. Look what happens if you search what he used to be. He, by the way, will make himself a goo pile no matter what when you kill him. 51 pieces of blowfly meat. 14, 14 buff outs. 17 psychos. 21 empty syringes. And even some drained microfusion cells. So what's implied is that the thing was super experimented on with buff out and psycho and something else. It fires plasma projectiles. It's like not even... <laughs> it's it's so weird and it's so easy to kill you. Alright, so... The, the reason he's easy to kill you is that he has very accurate projectiles, whereas being a blowfly, he moves so erratic, it's very hard to get a pin on him. The other, the death claws are easier and harder because of their up close style, so you have to get really far away from them. I know. I don't even want to say it, but I know I'm jinxing myself, and I'm going to say this. Since I had left that. Time to reward myself with a little. How are you eating it? Anyways, the I'm drinking myself, but since I left that southwest quadrant of the map, I haven't had any crashes, like at all. So it must be it must be those weird hexagon structures. It's the only sense I can make out of it, because once you get near them it starts the game starts acting real screwy. I have to get up here somehow. On Skyrim, all that training. So apparently, the map of Fallout 4 is roughly the same size as that of Skyrim's, but something to keep in mind with Skyrim is a lot of the map surrounding or and in the middle is like, oh god, I can't see anything. Is mountains? And uh, there's not much on mountains besides, like, one or two of the main story places. How do I... I know I can scale these if I try hard enough, because there's an area that's, like, hidden. Oh, I don't want to go to the loading station yet. Get over here. seems to be the way to get in here. That one. That one. So this is likely the last place that Elijah made camp. Oh, look at him. He was... Oh, Elijah's journal. Oh my god, I have to do something about my nose. Hey, stop it. This camp's better than the one I set up on top of Signal Hill's roof. Clear broadcast line to its radio tower and good vantage point in the north tunnel. Set up a tur turret perimeter and transmitter. Should be able to control the trains via remote to escape before any robots come. The broken secure tr securetrons make a good defense line. I didn't see them. Apparently, brains in the center dome can't control them like they do the others. No sign of courier or that woman... Turns out I was right about the Yangtze camp. I was being watched there. Probably Brotherhood Assassin out to sentence me. She got hers, though. After the robot attack, saw her get hauled away to the southeast by medical robots. Probably joined the lobotomite ranks here. Don't have to worry about her anymore. That's awfully presumptuous of you. Especially because she helped me kick your ass. I'm actually... You know what? I didn't really say much about it when I finished... Uh, dead money. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself that I was able to get him locked in the uh, safety deposit. Or the, the. I got the safety deposit thing by getting him locked in the vault, which can be difficult sometimes. The game's pretty glitchy. 
Why is this jury rigged Tesla cannon? So it's a different Tesla cannon. Oh, there's the Securitron. Oh shit, they have missiles. Um, um, why can't I open my pit boy? Those guys pack a punch. The Cazador Preserve and the Night Stalker Splicing Facilities are strangely quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, no duck, because everything that lives there got out, dumbass. Oh, boy. What is... Oh, the loading station, right. Point. Is there anything actually here? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's an actual Repcon rocket base, not like a... I thought it was one of the toy ones you see in, like, playgrounds. Or not toys, but they're, like, the play centers. Ooh, sky's pretty. Why does it say bad? Wait, I didn't finish exploring this place, though. What was that? Oh. Look that they carry random junk. Like, even the bottomites, even though they've lost their minds, literally, there's still something that, like, they there's still things they cling to. Like, that guy obviously really liked his steam gauge assembly that he was carrying around. Is there anything here? Doesn't say there's any valuables here. So what was this thing? The waste disposal platform? Waste disintegration. Another place that doesn't have any valuables listed on my little assistant here. But but but, but. Oh, my microphone is very much in the way of my eyesight. What is this? So it just is, it's an actual solar panel disintegration? Or no, I guess it uses heat to disintegrate? I guess that's usually how you disintegrate things, is with heat. Oh! Blue, that usually means treasure. Doesn't it? Those are robo-scorpion legs. Really big ones. Hmm. Interesting. Mark one Securitron. I forget if it gets explained directly. Yeah. But the Securitrons of the big empty were, I forget if they were made by or simply stolen by Dr. Zero and then he, he tried to reprogram them and a lot of them don't work because of that. So looks like the next place I want to go is east. Not west, but east. Isn't that like the Securitron plant over there? Probably get straight over by the pipes. But I'll do that in the next episode, so thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon, but until then, bye!